What's up everyone? This is Vtrex bringing you Game On Podcast number 5 which is actually now podcast because our admin Bunter Cage kicked us out from his page and now left PogGN. So now it's only me and Mizzy left. Say hello hey Mizzy. Hey guys, what's up? Alright, the topics which, should, uh, which we will be discussing today are Is God of War dead? That's the first topic. The second topic is FIFA 15 because it's just released. It's a new released game. And the third topic will be Forza Horizon 2 because it just got released, I think, yesterday. Mizzy, am I right? Yeah, you're right. Yesterday or before yesterday, I know. It just got released lately. So let's begin with the first topic. Is God of War dead? What do you think, Mizzy? Well, I think that God of War is not dead because, come on, it's the basic franchise of Sony. Yeah, but they haven't even talked about God of War in their you know, conferences, Gamescom, E3. Well yeah. Yes. Well yeah, it's Sony they never talked about God of War, you know that. Even on PS3 they said there will be a new God of War but never released even a single footage on it. They just say there will be a God of War and then God of War Ascension came. Yeah, but after Ascension I don't know that uh, they released any God of War, new God of War, even a trailer for a God of War. They heck they didn't even show us a teaser for the God of War. In development you know well they I just showed us uncharted 4 oh I'm, I'm sorry uncharted 4 was it yes and well, yeah, right. uncharted, well, yeah, uncharted 4 uncharted 4 thieves and I don't know what's that called and uh, you know I they didn't even show God of War so I'm assuming that God of War is dead because they didn't even showed us a glimpse you know uh, just a glimpse well I don't think God of War is dead because it's Sony we're talking about. They uh, they don't overhype God of War because they know when they say God of War, people will lose their mind. They will be like, man, this is so awesome. Even on God of War 3, when they shot it on PS3 attack demo, people were like, oh my God, this is the game of the year, and it did become of the year. You know, yeah, but you know they're losing money. Sony is losing money really bad, and they really need some funds from indie developers. That's why Shuhei Yoshida said that we are not gonna bring out AAA games anymore, not that much. We are just focusing on indies. AKA, we are bankrupt, we are going bankrupt, we need money, and we'll give you indie games. And I don't think so that God of War will be releasing anytime sooner than 2016, you know? Well, you know, they will make a remaster version of it, the HD remaster version on the PS4 just to <laughs> yeah. make more money. Because everyone is using this strategy, even Dead Rising 3 did, they said the new uh, PC version of Dead Rising 3 will be HD, it will be a remastered version, it will be Super Ultra or Mega, I don't know what it was. <laughs> but the basic concept of making money is if you have a game and it is running worldwide, people are buying it, even still on PS3, God of War is the best selling game. So if they make a remastered version of God of War 3 or God of War Ascension, people will still buy it because it's God of War, even I will buy it. The main reason of PS buying a PS4 is God of War. If Sony comes out, if Sony sales drops, they come out and say we are living God of War. Boom, heads up, but they will make more money selling God of War on a PS4 than all the other games combined. Yeah, but I don't think people will buy God of War even if they make a remastered edition because it's just a you know an old car with a new coat of paint it's just like that it's an old game with new high ch- high definition textures new shining effects you know stuff like that well yeah but, but maybe i'm wrong but well, yeah. maybe i'm wrong because uh, yeah, you know the on, last of us remastered edition the last of us remastered edition really sold well you know even even uh, it got released on the ps3 yeah but when they remastered it and released it for the PS4, it sold, you know, like, uh, like in millions. Uh, oh, man. Or whatever. So, uh, I think God of War won't sell that good, even if they, you know, make a remastered edition of it. Well, they said the same thing about the PS Vita version when Sony came out and said, we will release a PS Vita version of God of War collection, God of War 1, God of War 2, and the PSP version of God of War. And people will say, no one will buy it, uh, it's on hand. Well, but still, it sold more times than the PSP version. Yeah, but that was PS Vita we were talking about. So, let's leave it up to the viewers that is God of War dead? Leave us the answer in the comment section, guys. And with that said, let's move on to the second topic, which is FIFA 15. That's right. 
To be honest with you all, I haven't played a single FIFA in my entire life. I don't like sports game. I don't like FIFA. I don't like and that what is called PES. 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 I don't like any. I don't love any cricket game. I just don't think that sports game, you know, are good. You know, I'm not a huge sports fan, and that's why I didn't play any FIFA. And to be honestly, to be honest with you. FIFA 15 is the first FIFA I have ever played in my entire life, so I can't talk uh, about FIFA 15. So I leave it up to Mizzy. Well, is he? Damn, he dead <laughs> coming out of <laughs> like I didn't play a FIFA game. I didn't play a sports <laughs> game. That was something. That was harsh. Okay, but like, still, I don't like sports game. You know, I I just don't like them. Like, come on, man! Sports game. Everybody have played once in a lifetime. I played FIFA '95, FIFA '98, and FIFA two thousand four. I played all of them. So I haven't uh, played any FIFA. Honestly, to be honest with you, I haven't even played a single FIFA until until now. I played this recently FIFA FIFA fifteen demo. I think yeah, it was a demo, and it was just an okay, just only okay. I got beat to a pulp, you know. Goal pe goal ho rahe the. Goal hai, goal ho gaya bhai. So <laughs> I don't like FIFA, and honestly, uh, I will just do a short review on FIFA 15. Because I am a very big FIFA player, FIFA junkie. Sorry, but uh, PES player. Sorry, but I like FIFA more than PES. <laughs> yeah, yeah, PES players are good. You know, we got our. Uh, I think we got our fan Afan who plays PES. Afan. Yeah, but so coming back to the uh, coming back to the topic, uh, what I have in mind about FIFA 15 is that it's. Uh, a lot better, a lot better than the previous FIFA games. Like a lot uh-huh. better. People are bitching about no, it's the same thing. They just uh, improved a little bit improved of graphics, the graphics. and they yeah. improved the uh, the emotions and the settings of uh, difficulty the level. The I yeah, people bitch, people people more bitched about uh, the goalkeeper difficulty. They were like, you raised the bar on a goalkeeper. You made it so hard. We can't even do a single goal. You just went uh, completely. You put your ha- work on the goalkeeper. People people are, but no, that's not the truth. That's not the truth. Uh huh. If you don't know how to play FIFA, then don't bitch about it. Hey, I'm not bitching about it. Honestly, no, speaking. no, I'm <laughs> not. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about all the people who are bitching, not even the fans, but the people, but the best players. Best people are like, yeah, I moved to FIFA 15, but it's it's so worse than PES. It's got glitches, it's got bugs. Well, yeah, it got bugs because the game just released. When uh-huh. you play it, when when you report the bugs, they will fix it. But still, they improved the goalkeeper animation. The add they added diversity and visual players. Well, yeah, it's a graphical improvement, big deal. They do it every year. But still, <laughs> they added so much in it, like an ultimate team loan system. Because in FIFA uh-huh. 14, there was no loan system because uh, you have to you have to play matches. You have to add, you have to use in-game currency. You have to uh, basically what pitch to people that give me money, man, give me money. I need I need this player. <laughs> I need this. I need Ronaldo, and Ronaldo was like 15 million gold coins, I guess last uh, last year I checked. Wow! And he was the best player. So, uh, Moin, uh, personal question: What is the basic difference between FIFA 13, FIFA 14, and FIFA 15? It's a personal question because I haven't played any FIFA, so I'm just asking a personal question from you. What is the basic difference between FIFA 13, 14, and 15? Um, well, in 13, they said they will improve the emotions of the player. The so-called emotion they say it every year. They will. They said that we will add a face maker where you can scan your own face and put it on the player, and you can use it in a career mode. But that's only for consoles with well, the connect well, yeah, and that, you know. Well, yeah, that, well, yeah, that's an exclusive feature. And in the FIFA 14, they said that they will add more diversity, more, uh, more, more control on player, more flow on player. The 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 audience will react to every goal. The audience will react to your every move, but there was nothing in it. But in FIFA uh-huh. 15, they they took all those fake promises and implemented them in FIFA 15. Uh huh. Like when you goal score a goal, the crowd will be like, oh yeah, my favorite player scored a goal. Is it like that? Oh, it's more than like that. Even the commentator <laughs> was like, "Go, go, 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 go!" And I was like, "What the fuck, man? Shut the fuck up!" <laughs> man, and any other, f- uh, you know, difference? Well, yeah. Besides this, well, yeah, that's are the good part. But coming to the bad points, the bad points are that the commentary remains still awkward. 
I said that before that the go, the commentator was like go 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 and I was like oh come on man shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right that sounds interesting I definitely have to try FIFA 15 Well, just yeah, 15 but well, yeah don't try it <laughs> no i just try it because you you know it sparked my interest i want to uh, i want the announcer to say go when i score a goal <laughs> and i uh, and when i wave my hand to the connect i want the audience to you know stand up and cheer from yay yeah well they, will, they 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 ha- they haven't added that feature in it <laughs> they won't add it in <laughs> fifa 28 or fifa 90 or fifa 98 <laughs> i don't know what fifa but they won't add it All right, that uh, that sums that topic up. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a quick break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to podcast number five, where we bring you latest news in gaming and technology. I'm here with Mizi, also known as Moin Imran. Yeah, coming back to the topic, we have one last topic to discuss about. Forza Horizon 2 because the game is just released one day ago and let's talk about Forza Horizon 2. So first of all Forza Horizon 2 is an Xbox 360 and Xbox 1 exclusive. It's not available on the PS4 nor the PS3 nor the PC nor the Wii. It's only available on Xbox platform. So that out of the way let's talk about the graphics. The graphics of this game are just amazing. 1080p at 30 frames per second. That's right. You guys know I hate 30 frames per second, but trust me guys, this game it seems like this game is, you know, goes beyond 30 frames per second like to 45, 40 or even 35 frames per second. because the gameplay is just smooth as hell and i don't think so it's 30 frames per second but who knows i may be wrong what do you think moin well i never played for the horizon or any for the game before so i can't be the <laughs> judge of how good <laughs> it will be just like you never played fifa i never played for the but still you have to you know uh, watch horizon 2 oh well, yeah i watched Did, some of watch well yeah I, s- i watched some of your footage you, uh, you posted it on park g and then it looked beautiful it looked gorgeous it yeah looked, it, it looked like the type of game i will play as a racing fan even though i am yeah, a, seriously. It, it, even though I, oh, i am a sony fan boy but still i will i recommend that game to the xbox fan boy like play it it's a good game it looks so beautiful so gorgeous like microsoft studio really did a great work on that game and i'm jealous that they seriously did and i'm jealous that they didn't break it, bring it on a pc because like come on microsoft i on your i on oh. your operating system like oh. come on oh poor pc fans oh <laughs> hey i'm not you know being fanboy or something but just to make you guys clear i game on the pc i love pc but you know i prefer console over pc any day so let's talk about the gameplay of forza horizon 2 the gameplay is you know it's like you are racing in an open world you're not limited to one track or you know a simulator type tracks the gameplay is smooth and open world where you can drive anywhere you want you're driving in uh, Europe i think is that right moin i don't know i told I think you i never played i never played <laughs> right come yeah. on like man you're making me jealous here <laughs> oh don't be jealous all right uh, i think you drive in the countries of Europe from one country to another country to bonds to you know solid land and the gameplay is simply amazing coming to the cars the cars are more than 200 cars available on day 1 at day 1 i mean because this game is just uh, you know it's released so you get 200 plus cars i think 200 plus cars damn so tracks as i as i said this game is open world there are no tracks sort of things you can you know go anywhere in this world from you know kheton mein ja sakte hain aap to you know solid land to roads and on onward i'm cutting you Multi- here i'm so cutting, yeah i'm cutting you here but that was the best desi pun i have ever heard like kheton mein ja sakte hain and i was like what the <laughs> fuck where did that came from man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say yeah, that. Okay, tell me that. If you can do that, if you can do if you're saying that, then you can do. Yeah, I I've, I've done that. Main kheto mein jaun gaadi leke apni Evo Evo 10. Uh, so, coming one, back one to the question, multiplayer. One question, one question. Can you run uh, yeah, over cars? Yeah, 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 sure. Uh no, there uh, are no cars in this game. Sorry. 
<laughs> but they will me maybe they will you know yeah maybe there oh, will no. be an update microsoft will be like let's let's roll out an update where you can Put smash cows. cars where you can smash cars into cows like wow people will be like wow we got to kill cows download 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 or maybe or maybe they merge it with the you know goat simulator while you know oh, you damn. can run over goats 10 out of 10 buy it guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, let's compare Horizon 2 with Drive Club. So, Moin. I got no Moin, words. you there? I got, I got no words, I honestly <laughs> say. <laughs> like, how come? Come on, let's like, compare like, Horizon like, 2. Like, come on, Horizon 2 is just like Drive Club, but the only exception is that it has a virtual reality project Morpheus type of system. No, it's Drive that, Club it, is it, it, delayed. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's delayed, <laughs> but I'm I'm sure they're working on it. They're working really hard on it to make it, make it look, make it look better than the uh, for the Horizon or whatever the name is. But still, I am kind of pissed off at uh, Sony Studio that they are sort of making fake promises with the people. Like they were like th at first they were like the game will be 60 frames 1080p, and after that they were like 30 frames 1080p. But still, it's a game you can race in it. So you buy it. We made it. Then they were like, we delayed. Were like, oh, like, come on, <laughs> shut the lid. I know it's delayed. Delayed. It's delayed one year. One whole fucking year. Come on. The, it was supposed to be available on the launch of the PlayStation 4. And it's still not available yet. It's delayed for one whole year. Come on. That's something. Well, yeah, delayed, but still. Duke Nukem was delayed for 18 years and people waited. And the last product they gave us a piece of shit. Yeah, but Duke Kingdom is over. That era is over. Now it's the era for Drive Club and Horizon 2. Well, yeah, All but right. well, uh, yeah, well, yeah, but still, I'm kind of uh, pumped up or hoped up that pissed. they will... No, not pissed. But still, I'm kind of hopeful that Drive Club will be better than uh, Microsoft for the Horizon. No, it won't be. Because uh, when I first uh, watched Drive Club on that uh, press conference of the Sony, it looked amazing, but when I recently uh, saw its trailer, I think two, three days ago, I think it looked horrible. Really, it looked half as better it as it was, uh, you know, when it uh, they showed uh, the trailer at uh, you know press conference. I don't know what's wrong. They cut down the engine, but the power of the engine to one half. I don't know because the end product uh, end product doesn't look the same to me. The graphics. They don't look the same to me as they were when they first showed it at uh, you know press conference of the PlayStation 4. What do you have to say about that? Well, yeah, it's like Watch Dogs. That first they said it's the next revolutionary game, but the end product was like, man, what the fuck is that? Yeah, and I I bet the game doesn't look that good as it you know looked when they first announced it because when you look at uh, when you look back at games that got delayed like Watch Dogs, they first showed the trailer of Watch Dogs. It looked incredible. But when the game got delayed, and after the deletion, they uh, released the trailer. The game looked half as good as it looked when they first showed the trailer. The same is with Drive Club. I'm watching the trailers one by one, and they keep getting worse. The graphics keep getting worse. To me, Drive Club, I don't think so. It's a, it would be a good game, honestly speaking. Well, we can't be the judge of that right now because we haven't had ha our hands on it and you can't have your hands on it because you own an Xbox. I can because I'm buying PS4 and Xbox One. But yeah, you but can, but... But still, but still, but still, the, there is a kid, Taha uh, Asif, I don't uh, remember his name correctly, it was Taha Asif, he posted a pic of, um, I guess, Drive Club. Uh, I don't know, uh, do you remember what game it was? Uh, because I don't. Midnight, I think it was midnight, something like that. Well, yeah, it was. And when she showcased your car, it was written mid there. No, it it was written Muzi M U W D Y, and I was like, <laughs> you know, okay, remove the U and add an I, and he was like, okay, but then he was <laughs> like, yeah, I go, I forgot the save file, and I was like, no problem. But still, if games like that, where you have the freedom of optimizing your car, like you can add a bumper, you can add a sidewall, you can add a door, you can add custom color, you can add stickers and stuff. If Drive Club have this, then it's completely sold. People will buy it no matter what happens because I don't think for the hazard. For the five has it. No, does for the two have it? For the other two have it? Does it have it? 
that does it have this feature mm. like you can customize your own cars yes you can actually you can go to a car meetup after you customize your car and show and you can show your newly customized car to other people and they can have a look at your car copy your design and use it at their own and there would be a you know signature on the design your signatures something like that that's pretty cool and in Forza 5 yes you can also customize your car in Forza 5 but at the cost of your performance that is really shitty seriously I'm really pissed off at that when you customize your car like if you place a bumper or a spoiler it will directly affect your performance and if your performance get affected you won't be able to use that car in a you know race or, or a league that's you know that wasn't a good move for them but still that game was really good Horizon 2 is really good and I'm pretty much sure Drive Club won't be as good as Horizon 2 <laughs> what do you think? Well, I completely agree with you on this because I have seen Forza Horizon 2 gameplay footage. I haven't seen Drive Club footage, so I can completely judge on that. But still, if you're talking about uh, uh, today or the next day or the next day, that will Forza Horizon. Well, yeah, Forza Horizon is good. But yep, that's for sure. But the, me the gameplay mechanics of uh, Drive Club is similar to Forza Horizon. Yep, that's for sure. The only game, the only game competing against Drive Club is Grid 2. It's not competing. Grid 2, it's it's not competing. Grid against 2 is really hard. Well, no, it's not hard. It's the most easiest game I have ever played. It's the shortest game. It has the shortest tracks. I played it on a PC. I have played on a dual core PC. It can run on my dual core. Wraps up the round of this episode. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys. Peace out. Well, what do you mind? Well, yeah, before ending this episode, I would just like to make a request to the people. Sure, go ahead. Well, uh, you guys know that Buntu get departure from Park GN because of his selfishness. Well, yeah, because of his selfishness, uh, he kicked us out of the group. You know the rest of the story. I don't mind. I don't have to repeat it because I'm already pissed off at him. So, Same here. so we have uh, we have lost uh, the so-called bro or bros for life, guys. So we need a guy. So if you think you can join us in our podcast, or you can you want to manage our page, or you want to work for Park G, and then message us or comment if you want to be in the next episode of podcast number six. So Actually, we need a couple of guys. You know, we need two or three guys who want uh, who can manage the page because we lost a really good, you can say a good member. Well, yeah, he was. But, uh, well, yeah, he was good. He, he was. He was the he best. He was the best there is. He was the best commentator. He was the best guy. But still, he double crossed us. We were like a bro to him. We were managing his page for like two months. He was on 100 likes. We we jumped his page to 600 likes, and then he was like, "Yeah, you got 600 likes on my page. So goodbye. See you next year." Yeah, exactly. He did that. He double crossed us, stabbed us in the back, and left us. So and we, all just so for its game on Bunto page. Well, yeah, he was endorsing it. He was like, Game on Buntu should be the face and Park Gen should be second best. But he doesn't understand that he is number one. Park Gen is representing him. Park Gen is the one who's saying, yeah, we are Pakistan gaming brand and we have a greatest gamer, the greatest commentator, the greatest the greatest guy Park Gen has ever had. But he was like, no, Park Gen is shit. Uh, we should support Game on Buntu. And we can't accept that. Well, now he is supporting Game on Buntu. No, I, so, think uh, no I think he blocked his page. So moving on. <laughs> I don't know. So we need a couple of guys, you know, who can number one, who can replace Bunto as you know our side member. The second and the third members will be you know the editor and the creator, content producer who can produce content not on a regular basis, but you know every after two or three days who can stay active on the page. So hit us up on our Skype or on my Xbox Live or on Mizzy's Origin account. You can also hit me up on he will Facebook. You can also hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. I'm always available there. You can ask me questions. Yeah, sure. You can stop by and say hi. I will reply you back. Don't feel shy. I don't eat you. I won't bite you. I'm a friendly guy. You can ask Hamza how much friendly I am. I made friends in it on first day. So you can stop by and say hi. Yeah. 
same here and Buntu if you're listening to this you're always welcome back but still and we won't uh, add you on the Park you. GN but still we won't add you on Park GN add you on Park GN yes because you betrayed us you if we add we, if you if we add you back it's like you stab us in the back and then you, we went to the hospital we got recovered and we were like hey Buntu how are you stab me in the back but no problem we're bros right yeah it's, it was like that but still I'm ready to forget about what happened but we cannot allow you to enter Pagan again so if you think you can you know withstand that and you want to come back most welcome so see you next time take care guys peace out guys bye bye